and then heels down, and then notice where the, the piping occurs. Okay. <clears throat> you want to try to have this piping occur down here closer to the cable. Okay, so that when you when you hang there, the bar pulls down. So that when you're ready to drive your heels up, it'll catapult you up to get real high. Space bar. Okay. Right here, he swung up. But the key is here. I'm trying to get him to understand. That. Keep your shoulders up while he's letting his feet come down, so that he can generate enough force to pull the bar down. Right here, he focuses on letting out the pipe, driving his heels up. What he's going to do here is, as he drives his heels, he'll learn how to. He has to, for the Yamawaki, he has to throw the bar early. See right here, he's just going up to a handstand. But when he goes to do the release, he has to throw the bar early like a back up rise. And the next step we do, I have him do on the high bar, I have him try to do the heck tap, throw, and try to land on top of the bar. Right here, he's already starting to throw the bar, so that his shoulders are just like a back up rise. And he rises up, and try, I try to get him to think about being hollow after he throws the bar, and just staying hollow as he tries to land on top of the bar. Okay, focus on being hollow and try to just stay there and just try to land on the bar. Next stages. <clears throat> the next stage after this, he focuses on thinking like he's going to land on top of the bar, but he goes throws and then he turns his body this way to catch the bar. I try to have him think of turning before he gets on top of the bar, so that it almost looks like a, a laid out reverse act coming over the bar. Carlos, are you having him start first in a double over grip? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, similar to what they do on the straps, we just have them concentrate on swinging here, tapping, and then kicking, and immediately throwing the bar down, kind of focusing on staying hollow, mm -hmm. and just think about standing on the bar. Same thing, thinking of that back up rise action, uh, although his, his feet are a little higher than it should have been. If he went a little earlier, it would have been straighter up. And as he gets, as he gets better at doing the late out Yamawaki, what I have him do we started working on uh, this summer was uh, laid out young walk to Jane.
as the kids, as they get better at it, you get to see it. The key is trying to get up. And what I'm trying to see is uh, have them do like a laid out reverse act coming over the bar. That's my goal. So that you can. Then when we started playing a little more this summer, we started playing with the. Uh, Similar to a laid out reverse height. Nice. So it's almost like doing a new thing. Any questions? <laughs> Can he do the loop? Huh? Can he do the loop? Is he, um, is he tight in his shoulders this way? Because yeah, I don't see him really opening much like that, you know? To yeah, his he's shoulders. a little tight. Yeah. He's a little tight. So yeah. he does more of it, you know, from here yes, down. Yeah. yeah, down. Okay, all right. Just making sure. Okay. I said now if he was just resisting or if he was actually not capable. Or if, um, okay. But he's really strong here. Right, yeah. yeah. He can pull so the he can really throw the ball. Again, I focus on trying to get them, like I said, trying to think of it like a laid out reverse type. So we did a lot of drills. First standing on top of the bar and then trying to turn before you go over the bar. So it's more of a laid out Picasso. And we just did a lot of the drills in the strap to really feel the, you know, hanging. You gotta feel the bar when you drop here where it's pulling the bar down. And you notice he really bends the bar. And that's one of the, the key things is Using that energy that you generate from the drop to really get the bar to throw you as high as you want it to go. So spending the time in the straps really helps. And the other thing I wanted to talk about, I talked to the kids today, uh, was like P-Bar Giants. 